Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, what we are going to do is how we can uh, delete items uh, from a DynamoDB table and how we can delete the entire DynamoDB table. Okay, so let's go over here. So we have delete items. And, okay, so let's jump back to our editor. So this is our editor. Let's create a new file. So let's create a new file. So let's keep the file name as Dynamo DB Delete and just code my top. Let's go back to our official documentation. So so this is our official documentation page. We are going to use service resource. If I click on service resource, I will just copy this. I will paste this in our code. Then what we're going to do is we have to delete the item. So before deleting the item, let's go to the AWS console, uh, run this and see what all items we have. So guys, you can see one, two, three. We have three items uh, with two attributes, name and salary defined over here. Now what we're going to do is uh, let's start by deleting with three. So I will go ahead and delete the item three. So for deleting the item, I have mentioned a DynamoDB uh, resource over here. We have invoked. But now to get the employee table information, what we will have to do is we will have to go over here. In this, we will have to use this resource. And along with this resource, we will also use the sub resource. So this is the resource over here. We will mention our table name. I have mentioned our table name over here. Now, I will just invoke this table dot. Now what we have to do is we have to delete. So if you go there in the sub resources over here, it is mentioned delete item. If I click on delete item over here, deletes a single item in a table by a primary key. So we, primary key, we are going to just define the uh, partition key over here. You can perform a conditional delete operation that deletes the item if it exists or if it has an expected attribute value. So you can also apply conditions over here. So the conditional operators are over here. So you can uh, create your based on your requirement. So right now what I will import use is table delete underscore item. So over here table delete underscore item. I will define the key. As you can see, key is required. It is mandatory to be defined. So I will just define the key over here. Key is equal to. So we are going to delete the item with ID three. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go back over here. Uh, what it is going to return. Let's see. So it is going to return a dictionary. So in return, what I will do. Uh, over here I will do. This is equal to print. So let's go ahead and run this before running this. Let's re verify once again. If I have refreshed the table, you can see the value number three is over here. Okay, now I will just go ahead and run this. Okay. Okay, so it is not able to give the response. Anyways, we'll just go and see. So see, it was not able to print. So let's for now comment this out. But if I go back over here, you can see the well, uh, the item with the primary key of three has been deleted. Now it is what is left one and two. So the same way you can uh, change the IDs over here and you can do it. Okay, so that's it for this. Uh, delete item function so now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can uh, delete the entire employee table so for that let's create a new file dynamo db underscore delete underscore table so here we are going to delete the entire table and in, in our last example we deleted the items where which we can delete one by one so over here again we are going to go use the resources so let's get get back to our home page service resource we will copy this once we have copied this then what we will have to do is 
we will have to use table so it will get the table information so I'm getting the table information I will paste it over here over here we will mention employee that is the table name okay so the table name provided now we will have to delete this employee table so for that what we will do over here if we go in sub resources of table there is a function name delete so what it does the delete table operation deletes a table and all of its item all of its items so if i go back over here if you can see right now there are two items so we are going to delete the table and it will delete the items also along with the table that's i that's what i wanted to show that is the reason i have kept these two items available over here and after a delete table request the specified table is in deleting state until DynamoDB completes the deletion okay so you will have to know uh, you, you should understand this if the table is in active state you can delete it if the table is in creating or updating states then DynamoDB returns a resource in exception that means if any operation is being performed on that specific table it is not going to delete the table and if the specified table does not exist it returns resource not found okay so as you can see this is a simple table dot delete if i just i'm just going to use this function so right now as you can see this table along with items i'm just going to run this okay now let's go ahead and click on tables so guys as you can see the table employee has been deleted so thank you for joining the session guys so in this session what we have seen we have seen how to delete an item from the table and how to delete the entire table and when we delete the entire table it deletes the entire items uh, which already exist as a part of the table so thank you and have a great day